Hi, everybody. My name is Ron Evans, and I like to make things fly. And I do it with my brother Damon on something we call Project Flying Robot. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. But first of all, a warning, big warning. Do not use hydrogen gas to make things fly. <laughs> it's been tried. Doesn't work. Don't do it. Helium works great. It's inexpensive. It's safe, easily available. And a lot of innovative people have been doing interesting things with it. For example, uh, inventor Daniel Geary has this thing called the Hyperblimp, which is a very innovative aerodynamic design. He's showing one he built himself at the Prague Air Show a couple of years ago. So open source, especially open source hardware, is where the innovation is coming from. We just heard a little bit about that. If you take the schematics and parts lists and plans and you make those available for other people to use to build things, like this Arduino used for physical computing, art installations, or in the case of these two guys, we're about to see Chris Anderson and Jordi Munez, they said, we'd like to build unmanned aerial vehicles using Arduinos. And so they have two projects called the Blimp Duino and the Ardu Pilot, which are doing exactly that. Well, <coughs> we saw, we thought, Hmm, that's pretty interesting, but uh, we like the Ruby programming language. Anyone here programming Ruby? Ruby, yeah. Well, Ruby's kind of nice because you can read other people's code and use it. And we thought, hmm, what if we took Ruby and we used it to program Arduinos to create unmanned aerial vehicles? That would be pretty cool. So that's Project Flying Robot for you. And it consists of two main parts. One is a series of plugins for Ruby we've created for the typical kind of hardware you need for an unmanned aerial vehicle, the motor drivers, uh, sensors for ultrasonic range finders. The other part is we have a digital protocol you can use to control your UAV using your laptop computer or a custom joystick, simple serial protocol. So this is a picture from the fly my brother Damon flying and dive bombing the audience with a Blimptuino program with Flying Robot at the Future Ruby conference that took place recently in Toronto. So the Ruby air superiority proven. So uh, how can you get started? It's very inexpensive to buy one of these Blimptuino kits, which contains most of what you need. Maker Shed is selling them. It has an Arduino powered controller. It's got motors, servos, some sensors, an envelope, almost everything you need. A couple other things a pair of these XB radio frequency modems, two pairs of sockets to plug them into. You'll need a battery, some kind of rechargeable cell, and helium, of course, which you can get at party stores or even Target. So once you've done that, you've got your parts, a little basic soldering, pretty simple stuff. The surface mount difficult soldering has already been done for you in the case of the Blimp Duino, and then you're ready to program the software. So Flying Robot already has an interface defined that you just simply implement for your specific UAV. You define the code for the rudder, the throttle, elevators. Then you can upload it wirelessly using these XB modems. And voila, you are one of the cool kids with your very own Flying Robotic Blimp. Yeah. Everyone's doing it. Come on, join us. So you might be wondering, uh, what do I do with a Flying Robotic Blimp once I have one? So you can put a camera on it and you've got the paparazzi bot, very popular here in Hollywood. You can put some hazardous waste detectors and have an enviro bot, or you can put on some IR emitters and do laser tag with your friends who have radio control tanks. It's fun to call an airstrike on your friends, believe me. Now you're not just limited to blimps. Uh, we also, this is a, not a real Predator drone, it's a replica, which is a powered glider using the Ardu Pilot, so that's one of the bits of hardware that we're supporting. And the sky is no longer the limit. Sky is no longer the limit. This is a picture taken from 20 miles up from a team of high school students in Spain earlier this year. I guess what I'm trying to say is the technology is here. We are on the verge of a new renaissance. This whole industry is ready to take off except for one small problem, the law. The FAA does not allow commercial development of unmanned aerial vehicles here in the United States. So uh, we could be on the verge of this new renaissance. We just need to make a few changes. So that's why I'm here today in part, is we're looking for people to join us. We're looking for a few good primates. <laughs> it's uh, legal to do open source. We need to change these laws. We need to unlock this potential new market. So join us, because when we say open source, we actually mean open skies. 
flyingrobot.com. Check it out. Thank you very much. <laughs>